The reason you're not hitting fairways and not hitting greens is because you're not aimed correctly and that is the fact jack. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And hey, this sounds so basic that you probably shouldn't even think why am I making a video on this, but the reason people are not hitting the ball straight is because they're not aimed correctly. So today I'm gonna to share with you how to aim the club face and how to aim your feet in a process that can get you dialed in. And you know the movie, that's the fact, Jack. If you know the name of that movie and where that line came from, put it in the comments because you're an experienced golfer because you watched that movie a long time ago. Now, first of all, here's what you gotta understand is that the direction that the golf ball starts is primarily, not totally, but primarily based on where the club face is pointed. So when people start talking about aim, they immediately go to hips, shoulders, all these types of things, and those things are important, but the king of the hill is club face. So let's talk about that first. So here's the process that I want you to go through. And you can do this with all types of clubs. Today, I've got the Max Vert Hybrid. This club is amazing, it's super hot, but I've got that club that I'm using. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the club that you're using, and I like to do this actually with drivers and hybrids, even more so than irons, but I want you to bring it up to eye level. Now, when the club is at eye level, a couple things are gonna happen. Number one is it's gonna be easier to see because you're creating straight lines. When the club goes down like this, and my head is back and away, I'm not looking straight over it, okay? But when I bring it up this way, now my eye line and the club head are on the same line. So that's the first tip, number one. That's a great tip. So when you have it up here at eye level, it's very easy to see, of course, if it's open or if it's closed. So that's a great tip. Now, with the Maxford and the hybrid right here, we created a straight leading edge. If you look at a lot of hybrids, uh, matter of fact, a lot of drivers, there's a lot of roll to them. They're, they're kind of curved. So aiming can be very difficult. So one of the things that is we look for here is this straight leading edge. When it's straight, like we've got here at the max vert, it's very easy to aim. So let me just go ahead and hit a shot and we're gonna, we're gonna tie into that. So I'm just gonna put that up there. Okay, I got it nice and square. I'm gonna go ahead and grip it and I'm gonna bring it down. Let me just go ahead and hit a shot. Oh yeah. See, right down the middle of the fairway. Actually, had a nice little bit of a baby draw on that one. Nick's smiling back there behind the camera because he knows he's gonna like editing that one with a nice little shot tracer. Right, Nick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so now another thing we gotta look for in the setup is the angle of the shaft, okay? So I got it up here. This is why I like to bring it up here at eye level because you'll not notice the shaft angle is more vertical. Okay, when, when I have it down this way, the shaft wants to sit more this way on a flatter angle. When I bring it up here, it's, it's a straight line. So that's why I like to, it's easier to get it club face square. So I put it up there and I get it set. And I want you to feel like once you set that down, get the club face squared up. And as you set it, bring it down, I want you to feel like your hands are a little bit higher. Okay, standard traditional hybrid, they're gonna have you a little bit lower. But with the Max Vert, we made the shaft angle and we shifted the shaft a little bit so it sits more vertical. And as the club sits more vertical, it's easier to aim, okay? So here we go, let's get set in there. So we got it up here and I'm gonna give you something also to look at for the feet. We gotta get into that as well. So I got it up to eye level, I got it square. I raised the hands a little bit so it matches. Now my face is square. Boom, there it is. Now, some clubs, some drivers, some clubs, different things, sometimes they'll put different things on the top. Like if you look at your putter, Next time you get your part, look at it. There's probably lines on the top of it. Lines are great. Okay, we put a line actually here on the Max Vert because we call it the red line. We call it the fairway finder because when people were testing it out, they said, I hit the fairway every time with that line. So that's what we called it. But we got a nice long red line there called the fairway finder. But those lines are really helpful. They can help you get aimed correctly, all right? So we got to talk also though about the feet. So that's the club face, which is king. Eye level, squared up, fairway finder pointing down the middle. Set her down with the shaft angle up. Now, you'll notice as I do that, my feet are nice and close together. So when my feet are close together, it's easier to see if they're closed or if they're open. And what I like to do first of all, is when I aim the club face, I can now take my feet and I can use that reference line there and kind of work off that. So the entire process looks something like this. Let's bring it up here to eye level, get that leading edge straight up and down, okay? If you got a fairway finder, you can just point that nice and straight. Feet are together, we're gonna bring it down, raise it a little bit, okay, that helps square it up. And now my feet can work on the same line that I've created with the club face. Square up my feet, straight back, straight through. 
Now my club face is square to my target. My feet are square. Boom. There it is. Aim is key. The reason you might not be hitting straight shots is because you're not aimed correctly. That's the fact, Jack. These tips right here are going to help you improve that.